As you know, I'm building two prototypes of the unicorn in this video diary. Um, and I'm going to do two different kinds of finishes for the guitar. The unicorn number one will be finished with nitrocellulose. The top of the guitar and the headstock face is going to be high gloss nitro and the back of the guitar is going to be paper thin satin nitro. And this one, the unicorn number two, is going to be a bit more flashier guitar with a flame top. So I decided to do this a bit more modern and finish it with uh, high gloss polyurethane all over. This way you'll see two different approaches of what kind of guitar the unicorn can be with a more old school way finishing and the modern way. Now both guitars have the first bass coats on. Let's check what the mailman brought in the other day. Here we have the first prototypes of the Unicorn pickups from Harry Hoysel. This is a test set, unwaxed so I can open them up easily and swap between different magnets to fine tune the tone and responsiveness of the pickups. Let's open up one of these so I can show you a few things. So first of all the bottom plate. It's made of nickel silver, exactly the same material and specs as the 50s paths in the early Les Pauls. And the pole pieces, both adjustable and solid ones, are made of a special highly magnetic alloy. The bobbins have been attached to the bottom plate with non-magnetic steel screws which are more durable than the commonly used brass screws. Let's unscrew the bobbins. Right, um, all the magnets that Harry uses for the pickups are custom made for him with exceptionally narrow tolerance. The bridge pickup has now Alga 5 magnet and the neck unit has Alga 2. And I have here a selection of uh, different lights. I'll go three, four, eight as well, so I can fine tune the tone with these if needed. And these side pieces here are made of maple, just like in the old apps. The coils of these Unicorn prototype pickups are wound with Fonvar AWG42 enamel wire, exactly the same as in the old paths. And one important tone factor of these pickups is the asymmetrically wound coils. This means that one coil has a slightly different amount of winding as the other. And the pickup is nearly 100% hum cancelling and you get more punchy, dynamic and open tone out of it. And I prefer to use uh, good quality shielded 4 conductor cable to be able to split the pickup or do other custom wirings if needed. And one more thing is the cover. The material is uh, nickel silver, specially uh, thinly made custom work for Harry Hoysel. And the set naturally is calibrated so that the bridge pickup is slightly overwound for great lead tones and the neck unit is slightly underwound for a little bit of extra clarity. Can't wait to fit these to the unicorn. Wow, the Arctic Birch Flame of the Unicorn number 2 looks amazing with the high gloss lacquer. I love it. Yeah, in the next episode we'll continue the finishing process and I'll get to spray some color on both guitars. So stay tuned on that one.